Hello friends, welcome to the Digital Electronics Practicals of FYBSC IT Semester 1. So here we are going to discuss about the basic logic gates and their ICs and how to interface these ICs. So the first practical is about study of logic gates and their ICs and the universal gate. So the logic gates are AND, OR, NOT as they are written here. Amongst that, there, there are some basic gates and then there are some combinational gates. These are the IC numbers that are used for this AND gate, OR gate, etc. So we are going to implement these gates on a breadboard in terms of circuit. So let's see what are the logic gates. So lo logic gates are basically the building blocks of any digital system. They are basically the electronic circuits which have uh, one or more than one input and one output. It is not necessary that they should have one output always. They can have multiple outputs as well. But the relationship between their inputs and output is based on certain logic. And that logic makes the different gates like AND gate, OR gate, NOT gate, etc. These gates are powered up with uh, some voltage value and that is that you can provide to these gates. So the inputs are also given in the form of voltage values. So they are nominal values like 0 volt is considered as logic 0 or bit 0 and 5 volt is considered as logic 1 or bit 1. Similarly, if they produce the output which is around 0 volt, then that will be considered as logic 0. And if they produce 5 volt or around 5 volt, it will be considered as logic 1 or bit 1. So in general, the output that logic gets give is one but in special cases there can be multiple output bits also can be produced by such gates one thing to note here is that there will always be a time delay between the inputs given and the output produced so this is how the logic gates can be studied the next is we are going to talk about the AND gate so here is the AND gate and the IC number of the AND gate so IC number 7408 is used for interfacing the AND gate or implementing the AND gate on breadboard. So basically AND gate is also called as logical conjunction because it behaves according to the truth table given here which is a truth table we use in mathematics for conjunction also. So in conjunction also there are two variables and we form this product of these variables or that is what called as conjunction. So here is the symbol of AND gate. You see that there are two inputs A and B and the output that they yield can be termed as Y is equal to A dot B. In a truth table, if we have two different bits to represent, there will be four possible values. So these are the four possible values or group or combinations. So A and B are zero. A is 0, B is 1, A is 1, B is 0, A is 1 and B is also 1. So particularly for AND gate, the output is produced this way that if any of the bit is 0, the output will be 0. And so here you say for first three rows, the output is 0. And for last row, because there is no single, uh, there is no 0, so the output yielded is 1. This is the pin diagram of this IC7408. The pin diagram of AND gate is shown here. Uh, this IC has total 14 pins. Uh, if you hold the IC with notch upside, you will see that this is the first pin, second pin and so on. So on one side there will be 7 pins and on the other side there will be another 7 pins. So the seventh pin on the left side, side is a ground and the fourteenth pin on the right side is the positive or plus voltage. So for an implementing AND gate, you can insert this AND gate IC that is 7408 
you can insert this and we are closing this piece into the break hole and to this first and second pin you can connect the inputs and you will get the output at the third pin now in IC number 7408 there are possible four different AND gates like after three that is after this output first output you can also use 4 and 5 as input pins and 6th pin as an output. Similarly to the right side, you can use 10th and 9th pin as the input and this 8th pin as the output. And for the last output, uh, that is last gate is 13 and 12 will be the inputs and 11 will be the output where you can connect the LEDs. So to this outputs, you can connect the LEDs uh, and you can check the uh, logic according to the truth table so like if this first condition we want to check we'll have to provide zero voltage to this pin zero voltage to this pin and the output can be seen here so if the output or LED is connected to this pin the LED for these two input combination will not glow LED will only glow in case of this last case when A is also one and B is also one that means the value provided here are plus 5 voltage plus 5 voltage the output of AND gate will be shown here with value 1 that means LED will glow so I'll demonstrate this using a breadboard circuit so let's see how the circuit is to be set up to implement AND gate so to implement AND gate the first thing we require is the breadboard so for this breadboard these two sections of the breadboard works horizontally and these two sections of the breadboard works vertically I will be showing you or I will be demonstrating you this through the practical implementation we require this power supply now this is 9 volt power supply we require 5 volt power supply for such ICs so I will be using a register so to convert this 9 volt power supply somewhere around 5 volt so this is the register of around 220 ohm you can use register up to 1 kilo ohm to minimize this 9 volt to 5 volt now to implement AND gate you require this IC the number printed on this IC is 7408 so this 7408 IC is used to implement AND gate then you require the LED to see the output of AND gate for an LED there are two terminals one is positive and another is negative to identify positive and negative terminal you can check the filament length so the smaller filament with larger leg is the positive side of the LED and larger filament with smaller leg is the negative side of the LED furthermore we require the jumper wires these are male to male jumper wires these male to male jumper wires are easy to insert into the breadboard like this so now let us set up the AND gate implementation on this breadboard so we'll be using this 7408 IC so if you're going to hold this IC like this where this notch is upside so you'll find there are seven pins on the left side and seven pins on the right side so you can count these pins this way this is the pin number one pin number two pin number three four five six seven and to this side this will be eighth nine tenth eleven twelve thirteen and fourteenth so you can insert this IC onto the breadboard uh, we can use these two sections of the breadboard to insert the IC so I am using this IC and this way you can insert this IC into the breadboard so 
I am using this two sections of the breadboard to insert this IC this way. Now the next thing is we require this connection that is power supply. So here in this I am inserting the positive side of this battery and here I am inserting the negative side of the battery. So if I have inserted this positive terminal of the battery to this that means this whole horizontal line is having positive supply and this whole horizontal line has got ground or negative power supply now this since this battery is of 9 volt I will be using this register this way so I'm inserting this one end of the register just next hole of this positive and then another into this so now that means this positive voltage will be somewhat minimized and it will be provided here so now even this whole horizontal line has got the positive power supply now the next is you require the LED to check the output so for this LED this is the longer leg is the positive and this is the smaller leg is the negative so I'm just putting this LED in this way again I'm using these two sections of the LED now for this AND gate first two pins are inputs third pin is the output similarly fourth and fifth is the input and sixth pin is the output then seventh pin is the ground then again here you have two more end gates and 14th pin is the plus VCC so now I am connecting the positive so here I am taking the positive side positive voltage from this line and I will be connecting it to the 14th pin of the IC similarly for ground connection I will be taking this ground connection from this line because my negative or ground is connected to this horizontal line and to the seventh pin I will provide this ground connection then for the inputs I am taking two jumper wires so this green colored pin I am using as a first input let's say input A and this blue color is for input B and the output I would like to show using this yellow color so this third pin is the output and that will go to the positive terminal of the LED now this negative terminal of the LED needs to be connected to the negative end or the ground so this is how the LED is to be connected for the output to verify now you see both the ends of these inputs are in air they are called as open connections so in case of open connections they are taken as lot 1 so this open connections are will be putting this LED on but here we will be verifying this inputs for zeros and ones and then we will check or we will verify the truth table of AND gate so if I have two inputs for an AND gate the truth table is like if any one of the input is zero the output will be zero for both the inputs as high in that case only the LED will glow that is uh, in that case only the output will be one so right now I have these two inputs let's say this is A and this is B so here I'm putting this input A to zero and this to the 1 so input A is 0 this whole line has got ground that means 0 voltage and this whole line is positive so right now my input A is 0 and input B is 0 so you see LED is not glowing now let us exchange this so my input B will be 0 and input A will be I or 1 so this is what I am exchanging the inputs 
so in this case also the led is not glowing because any one of the input is zero the led will not glow now i am making both these inputs to zero in this case also led will not glow led will only glow when both the inputs are high so i'm putting this both inputs a and b to high so here you see now both my inputs are positive or high in that case only the input will glow now this is what first pin second pin and third pin that we are using to implement the and gate if i'm going to use fourth fifth and sixth pin so in that case i will need to change the assembly so here i'm removing the inputs as well as the output so now i will be using fourth and fifth pin as inputs of this and get so here this is the fourth pin of the and get then this is the fifth pin of and get and this is the sixth pin of and get so i am using this second and gate of this ic now since this is the output i will have to connect this to the positive of the led and now in this case if this both inputs are going to be high it is this led is going to glow so like any one of this input is going to be zero led will not glow so here one input is zero one input is high but led is not glowing even if i exchange this two inputs so this is high and this is low led will not glow when both of them are low led will not glow but when both of them will be high the led will glow so this is the second and gate that i am using for a and gate now since we are using this one and gate from this ic simultaneously i can use another and gate also so again i am connecting this ic ic's first input combination input output combination so this is third pin i will be using this for output and i will be using this two for the inputs so now this two are my inputs of first and gate and this is the output so i'll be connecting this output to the led so in this case this led and another led that i'm using now these are my two inputs of first and gate these are the two inputs of second and gate second and gate is connected to this led and this first and gate is connected to the this led so you see now my this and gate these are the two inputs now since these two inputs are in air this led is also glowing so if any one of this input is going to be zero the led will not glow this led will not glow so for this combination that is one input zero one input one led will not glow for both the inputs zero led will not glow so for both the inputs high the led will glow this so you can use multiple and gates of single ic so one single ic this 7408 ic provides you four different and gates so you can use any of these and gates thank you for watching this video